You're listening to Primetime Sports Radio, 88.5 WRAS. I'm Jared Oliver here with Homer De La Fuente. Georgia State basketball, we have a couple transfers and signees. New guys, freshmen, rookies. Yes, sir. Coming in. Willie Clayton. Willie Clayton came out of... Thomasville, Georgia High School. I think he played the last three seasons at Charlotte. Yep. Uh, meaning he He's... won't have eligibility for the 2015-16 season, uh, but he will have one year remaining after he's done with that. What do you know about this guy? Yep, 17 career double-doubles and 25 career double-figure double rebound, rebounding games. Uh, definitely a guy to put in the paint to replace Curtis Washington. Uh, he's a long-ranging guy. Um, hasn't had the best college career. Uh, I mean, he's a great rebounder. Not really an offensive threat, but it'll be good to put it'll be good to put him out there and uh, finish his career. Also, we have uh, Austin Donaldson out of Jonesboro High School. He signed with Georgia State. Uh, Two-time state champion, champion out of Jonesboro High School, 8.9 points, 3.6 3. assists, and 3 rebounds. And Ron Hunter really likes him. He says he's a true point guard that fits into our program. I honestly believe he was born to be a point guard as he handles the ball well and doesn't turn it over. He has been highly recruited and will be a great addition to our team. Our coaching staff and I look forward to working with him when he arrives on campus, end quote. So definitely a guy who's a true point guard. Um, he's a long six foot two, um, handles the bar well, and that's good to try to replace Ryan Harrow, which was he's probably an even taller guy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, try to replace Ryan Harrow, who did a lot of the bar handling for the Panthers last season. As a champion, I think yeah, it helps keep that confidence uh, and that uh, swagger to the team. Uh, even with Willie Clayton, I mean, he won't be playing this upcoming season, but he's a rebound guy, and he's a guy that you can, I mean, put him on. Whenever you're trying to get a rebounder, trying yep. to get a start going for your team. Trying to get those second chance points. Yeah. Uh, also, we got the biggest recruit that Georgia State has ever got or gotten. Nice ranked. Yeah. Demarcus Simmons out of Buford High School, four star recruit. Uh, I think number two player in the state of Georgia. Uh, definitely an impressive guy. Really athletic, long, rangy, uh, high forward. energy. He'll dunk on anybody he sees. Um, I've seen his highlight tape. If you haven't seen his highlight tape, go look at it. Demarcus Simmons out of Buford. Um, he's an upcoming senior, so he will not be here until the 2016-17 season. Let's talk about guys who need to step up their game for next season. Of course, we can start with Kevin Ware um, right off the bat. A guy who's very athletic, one of the best players or athletes in the Sunbelt Conference. Uh, his jump shot is just the only thing that hinders his game. And I think if he can improve that, you know, he's a 7.6 per game uh, scorer right now. But if they can get him in the 12 to 15 range... Uh, work on his consistent. Yeah, I mean he's got a nice clean, uh, nice clean form. He can shoot the ball. Well, he can. His form is nice and clean. Uh, jump shot is well balanced. But the thing is, it just doesn't go in, and he needs to step up. I think he's going into the perfect situation right now with the Georgia State team. Uh, after Georgia State lost R.J. Hunter and Ryan Harrow, he, it finally gives him the reins to kind of lead the Georgia State team as a guard. Um, I think this is where he'll he will he will shine with Georgia State. Uh, now that he's has all these battle wounds from even his time back at Louisville, dealing with injuries, getting national media attention, international media attention, and even last year uh, coming up big in the Sun Belt Championship, he's been at all levels of like that the NCAA has to offer. He's won a national championship. He's been at he's gone through everything pretty much you yeah. can as a college player, mm -hmm. and I think that's he's going to be a major part uh, for this Georgia State. Uh, I'm going to say that he's going to be the star for them because. With him having the experience mm, with all this, it. yeah, 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 I know, right? <laughs> he's Sunbelt Player of the Year. Okay. Wow, predictions, uh, and I think that's what he's going to be able to provide with them—the experience to other to these younger guys who are coming into the Georgia State team, and he will keep that swagger going with like the Georgia State name. Okay. My guy is Jeff Thomas, man. I love Jeff Thomas. Jeff Thomas. I, unfortunately, he couldn't play this year to NCAA regulations with. Didn't allow him to participate in this year's season. He was actually supposed to start. Ron Hunter wanted him to start in the lineup with, you know, RJ Hunter and those guys. And, you know, let Kevin come off the bench. Uh, he's a great scorer, man. He doesn't look like the most athletic guy, but he can definitely put the ball in the basket, just like RJ could. And that's what matters. Because you don't have to be the tallest or the shortest, but if you can provide something for the team, like Jeff Thomas can, scorers, you can never have too many scorers, I never. believe. And the fact that he provides that, I think, is a great thing. Yep, six five, long rangey guy, kind of like RJ was. Uh, I don't want to say he's the same player because <laughs> I think RJ may be a little more athletic than Jordan. Yeah. But um, Jeff Thomas can really put the ball in the basket. He's from Ohio, uh, Ohio guy, just like uh, RJ. So 
we'll see what happens with that, man. I, you know, people are expecting a lot out of him uh, as he was recruited here to play and even start his freshman year, which is a, which is very important. Uh, that's a big statement from Ron, yeah. uh, the caliber player he expects him to be. I think another, uh, besides Kevin Ware, my key guy is going to be Isaiah Dennis. Uh, I think this is going to be also his chance for him to shine now that, uh, like I said, Ryan Harrell and RJ Hunter are gone. Because you saw it much of last year towards the end of the season. He started catching fire and he brings high energy to the team. He's a really athletic player. He can jump over the hoop, I think, if he needs to. Uh, but I think he's going to he's gonna be one of the... Now that he's experienced the tournament and he's gotten a little bit of a taste for it, he can finally flourish, I think, under Ron Hunter's system. Uh, I think for him, he... he not only his scoring, I think his scoring will come, but I just think he needs to be more of a team player, learn how to uh, get assists, learn how to be just an overall team, uh, an overall good player for your team and provide and confidence. For them. Confidence, yeah. confidence, confidence. He needs to play with confidence, shoot the ball with confidence, shoot free throws with confidence, dribble the ball and transition with confidence. He's one of the most athletic guys on the court with no Kevin doubt. Ware. No doubt. No doubt. In the country. Okay. But confidence will be will be the biggest thing for him, and that would you know enhance his game tremendously. Yeah. Uh, I think a very 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 important guy on this year's roster, Jordan Sessions, okay. uh, sophomore season. He has the ability to um, enhance this offense tremendously. He's a forward, six seven. He can shoot the ball from the perimeter. Which Curtis Washington, T.J. Shites can't really do. Eh, yeah. Curtis yeah. Washington definitely could. <laughs> T.J. could a little bit if he wanted to. If he closed and I think out. that's another thing that he has to work on. Yeah, but good. Jordan can really he can stretch the court, which is which is something they couldn't really do last year. Uh, I think Jordan Sessions has to get really focused. He's a great talent, but I think with him, it's all about how great do you want to be. You have to put in the work, get really focused and avoid all the distractions. He's already seen the, the highs of the high. He's seen the the best level of this game so far. Yeah. I mean, we went to the tournament, he saw it. He's a freshman, he's immune to it. Now he knows what he has to do to get back there and he will continue to learn that as well. I Yeah, I honestly thought Jordan Sessions was gonna have an impact last season. Uh, but he did it. He did it. He yeah, did it. He did it. He, 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 he was learning. He was yeah, learning. He, 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 he's a, his body, he's, he he has an athletic build to him, and yeah. that's what I like about him, and that's mm -hmm. why I, I think he can be a, a, a contributing factor to this Georgia State team. Uh, but yeah, now that he's been through what he's been through last season, he finally learned, maybe, I don't know, learned from RJ Hunter and players of that caliber, uh, he can finally instill his game also. I just think um, when you're Ron Hunter and you have players like RJ Hunter and Ryan Harrell, yeah. you're not going to... You're not going to experiment when you guys when you got yeah, proven you guys like that. Know what you have. Exactly. So I think that's why maybe this season, uh, maybe even the season after, uh, these guys have to kind of step up and really show what they have to offer, not only to Georgia State but to even scouts in the NBA. Because uh, at some point you have to show, you know, what can I offer and what do I have to offer to these teams. As far as uh, expectations go for Georgia State, what do you, where do you how far do you tournament, see them going? Tournament, tournament, win the Sun Belt. Get to the Sweet 16. I think they'll aim for the Sweet 16 this year. And I think that'll be really great for them and the, and the school. I think, you know, they're winning. Coach Ryan Hunter said, okay, we've been there, but we got to continue winning. we got to yeah. build that winning tradition. We don't want to stop. We don't want to lose any momentum. We want to keep getting higher and higher and higher to play with the big boys. And they've gotten better as, as in uh, Ryan Hunter.